going on guys, Jake Fruit and Tech here, and today we're going to be talking about 3D printed mods for your Creality Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. So I've had my 3D printer a little over a month now, and a very popular topic that I heard in the 3D printing community as far as popular prints is printing mods for your particular 3D printer, which at the time really wasn't something that I was interested in, but I was kind of running out of stuff to print lately and I needed to go ahead and model things and I didn't have them quite ready so I figured it was a good time to start printing some mods for my Creality Ender 3 Pro. So next I typed in Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro on Thingiverse and I found a plethora of results. There are quite a few mods out there for the Creality Ender 3 Pro. Given that it is a really popular printer that's kind of expected. So there are a bunch of STL files out there in the community for the Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. Some of these models that people have created are more for cosmetics and more for just looks, while others are actually pretty functional parts for your 3D printer. So far I've printed out five different printable mods for my Creality Ender 3 Pro. And most of them are pretty functional as far as serving a purpose. Most of them I printed just based off experience working with the Ender 3. For some of these mods, I just figured it would be really nice to have and it's kind of filled the gaps and it increased the functionality of the printer for me. So these five mods that I've printed so far aren't in any particular order as far as importance goes. We're just gonna go over each of them and why I thought they'd be good to print out and a good addition to the printer. So the first mod I printed out for the Creality Ender 3 Pro is the LCD screen, the rear PCB cover. So when you first get this printer and you assemble it, your LCD screen actually doesn't have any sort of cover on the back, so it just has a bare PCB, which really won't affect functionality at all, but it is good to have something covering it to protect it, so that's why I went ahead and printed out the PCB cover. And for aesthetic purposes, it does make the printer look a little bit more clean. So the next mod I printed out is another mod for the LCD screen, which is actually a cover for the front. And basically this is just a LCD cover whenever you have a print running or you have your printer on and you just want to block out some of the light it's transmitting into your room which this is great for if you have the Ender 3 in a bedroom or some place that maybe during the nighttime you're running it and you just don't want all that light being transmitted into the room you're in, maybe trying to sleep in or something like that. So that's why I ended up printing out this front LCD cover to just kind of block out some of that light. So it works pretty well, but there still is light that gets transmitted through it, even though I used a solid color filament that isn't translucent, but I'm sure it depends on the model that you've created and how thick it is will kind of determine how much light gets blocked. But what I'll probably end up doing is just taking this print and maybe just painting it. That way no light will get through the paint and it'll be covered. So the next print is probably by far my favorite and that is the drawer unit for the Ender 3. This is a really cool model that was created. It actually is designed to fit into the tracks of the Ender 3 the tube material that actually makes up the frame and everything. So it slides into there and then it has two different size drawer units that fit into the body itself. So I really wanted the drawer unit for the Ender 3 basically for all of the tools that come with the Ender 3 like all the Allen wrenches, um, the regular wrenches, extra nozzles, um, just any sort of small accessories and parts for the Ender 3 that I could fit in there, I store in there and it works perfect. Most of my tools fit and then also the extra parts like the nozzles and stuff fit also. This was definitely one of the more time consuming prints, um, probably in total with the body and then the two drawer units probably was over 24 hours of printing but I would say it's well worth it. So the next thing I printed was the extruder knob and this piece is way more popular than I thought. I actually just stumbled upon it when I typed in Ender 3 in Thingiverse. So it was looked like a quick and easy print and looked kind of cool so I went for it and it turned out pretty good. It fit perfectly on the extruder but like I said, this one was way more popular than I thought. If you actually type in um, Ender 3 extruder knob in Thingiverse, you'll see there are a bunch of models for extruder knobs. And I feel like they are kind of more cosmetic and more for looks. 
but I mean they do kind of serve a purpose as you can feed filament with it. I typically don't use mine for that. It's just kind of more for looks and just a little extra piece. So something else I really wanted for my Ender 3 was some sort of lighting system where I could have a light over the print bed and see exactly what I'm printing. Because right now where I have the printer set up, it's kind of in a dark corner. I do have a desk lamp, but it's not the greatest. So I looked around on Thingiverse and I didn't see anything that quite stood out to me for some of the lights that I had around the house. So I ended up modeling just a little 90 degree bracket that has a hole for a quarter by 20 which is a very common thread for like uh, camera mounts um, lighting mounts for you know stuff like camera lights and so stuff like that so I ended up just making this little bracket and I actually mounted my aperture MC to it and it turned out really cool and like many other mods for the Ender 3 this one does actually slide into the tracks of the frame so it's got a pretty good fit there's a little bit of play in it so I really do have to go back and adjust my model a little bit my measurements but overall it works really good and I'm very happy with it so far. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. Those are five mods that I have printed so far for my Creality Ender 3 Pro and ones that I would highly recommend for you to print for your Creality Ender 3 Pro as well. I'll have links in the description for all the spots you can get the STL files from for a lot of these prints that I did. The 90 degree bracket that holds my Aperture MC is a model I actually made and I don't have it posted anywhere just yet but keep an eye out in the description as I'm going to try to make a Thingiverse account and post it on there. So that's going to wrap up this video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got some inspiration on some upgrades that you can print for your Ender 3 or Ender 3 Pro. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tech related videos, be sure to subscribe. As always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.